name is Mark Henn, and I'm a uh, animator, supervising animator, director. I directed the John Henry short in 2000, yeah. so that's my director credit. Um, but uh, the bulk of my career, I've uh, been an animation uh, supervisor, animate, uh, supervising animator, and as you saw, I think you've been with Pam already, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. With the Oh My Disney, um, with all the princesses. So we have 14 in the show, and I've been responsible for almost half of them wow. in, in, over the course of my career. So um, that's... Uh, I'm, been somewhat affectionately labeled the princess guy. So, um, and um, one uh, a story that's kind of related to that when we were, uh, I was, went to New York to do a little press event, kind of a pre, uh, pre-press event for Beauty and the Beast. And um, uh, so I went and uh, Glenn Keane went, my friend Glenn, and he was uh, animating um, the Beast. And I was animating Belle. And so when we were introduced, they had Pedro Hare was there. She was going to sing live. She was going to do the Beauty and the Beast song. And um, so when we were introduced, I think it was Jeffrey Katzenberg introduced us as the uh, Tom Cruise and the Julia Roberts of animation. <laughs> so by the time I got back to Orlando, I was, I was working out of the uh, Orlando studio at the time. Um, they had already made up a nameplate for me that said <laughs> Julia Roberts, so I, I still have that to this day. Um, all right, we're back. There you go. Excellent. Um, and oh, in case anybody's wondering, the uh, this ring is a 20-year ring that um, some people ask because they don't do these anymore. This uh, it's uh, it's Mickey. If I can get it off here, just it's. Uh, Oh. Yeah, see Mickey there? Yeah. yeah, so this this was the 20, 20 year uh, service award. So it has my, uh, I've been here, uh, as you can do the math, 1980, uh, 38 years. And um, yeah, it's been a great, great career. Mm -hmm. And still going. That's good. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Through a Vanellope drawing. Everybody gets to draw Vanellope. And then I'm going to do a little drawing at the end uh, that you don't have to worry about just watch and if you have any questions along the way don't hesitate to uh, ask but you may find what I've struggled with is walk uh, drawing and talking at the same time it can be kind of difficult so <laughs> if I seemingly go quiet uh, I'm just concentrating that's all um, anyway so let's get started uh, uh, well let me just first say that my role on the film I'm credited as the lead 2D animator for Record Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Um, I did do some 2D animation for the film. It's in the My Disney sequence. It's kind of, you have to kind of look for it. It's there. Um, it's kind of a little bit of an Easter egg, I guess we can call it that. But the bigger role that I had is working and partnering with our supervisors, Renato, Kira, and the supervising animators, and working with the animation team, bringing all of my years of experience to bear on you know the animation to make sure it's as good as it possibly can be, working with the CG animators to just make them better animators. So I'm I'm taking what I learned from the gener Walt's original generation, they were my heroes, and now I'm passing that along to this next generation of, uh, of animators. So anyway. do you think anyone can like you can teach anyone to draw? Or where's this going, Amanda? <laughs> like are people? I think she's asking if they're born with it. Right? Or do they have to have at least a little bit of talent to be like, okay, you know? Or well, that's, she's not right. talking about yeah. Tasa. She's totally not. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good. That's a good question. You're conscious over there, right? <laughs> that's a good question. You know, I I, I kind of look at my my own artistic. Uh, journey uh, a little bit like a Larry Bird I think you know mm -hmm. you have a Larry Bird versus like a Michael Jordan who is just mm -hmm. gifted mm -hmm. I mean Larry's gifted too but I think from the stories that I've heard about Larry Bird he worked his worked mm -hmm. his butt off mm -hmm. he practiced he shot I mean he worked hard to get as good as he is versus even a Magic Johnson who was just you know God-given yeah. gift right. so I think it's kind of I could say it's the same with art I think there's you know, uh, and animation is kind of funny because until the computer came along, 
you know, there's any number of varying degrees of artistic talent in, in animation. And some people drew really, really well, but weren't necessarily great animators. And you had the vice versa. You had guys that were really, and gals that were really good animators, but maybe didn't draw as well, but they could still communicate their ideas. So, I don't know, that's a good, that's like a chicken and egg kind of question. <laughs> I, I mean, I think having a natural talent certainly helps. But I've, you know, I've seen other people, you know, that just through diligence and hard work. And how long does it take you to come up with the character? Like, uh, how me. is there a certain amount of like? I know you probably have deadlines, but as a artist, like, are you like my first drawing? This is what I want, or mm -hmm. how? Long? Uh, it all depends. It really does. Um, you know, there's a group of artists that start on a, any production that are called visual development artists. <laughs> So they're kind of the blue sky, anything goes artists. So they start early and they start creating artwork that just answers questions. What if, you know, what if, you know, what, what could a character look like? What, mm -hmm. what would Simba look like? What would Princess and the Frog look like as a frog? What would Tiana look like as a human? I mean, they just, they, they just put up tons and tons of art. We come in a little later as a supervising animator and we'll start looking at some of that artwork and we'll have a lot of meetings and it's just, you know, well, I like this, I don't like that, I like this hair, I like this body. I mean, it's just a lot of kind of art by committee. And at a certain point, um, when I, and then I'm bringing my own ideas to, to mm -hmm. bear, and then at a certain point, I'll start doing some tests, as you saw the, uh, like the test I did for uh, uh, Ariel, to just kind of like test drive, I call it to see you know, if a shape's gonna work, if the voice feels like it's a good match with the design, you wanna make sure that it feels like the voice is coming out of the character and not just kind of pasting. <coughs> so that's a big challenge. So we'll do a lot of that early on. Um, Time-wise, it could be you know, a few months, it could be a year, it just all depends. Have you had any, I went on one trip where they were talking about like, the characters are put away to like save and sometimes they'll throw them in like the backgrounds of other movies. Have you had any that we would have seen in another movie that we wouldn't know? Um, none that I've been involved with. So what I did, f the little Easter egg I did for this film mm -hmm. is, was not, um, was not a character that I've animated before, except for, I'll give you one hint, Mickey. <laughs> so. Um, but the other characters, there's two of them, um, I, they're, uh, I had never animated before, but the directors and they, they thought it would be a funny idea and I agreed. So we, we, we put them in there. So you have, oh, to, you have to look for them. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it, you know, so it just varies on, you know, yeah. character design. Um, Simba, getting back to uh, her question here, was actually one that came real quickly. It seemed to go really fast. Um. We had a lot of good pre-production art. I mean, it's a lion cub. I just started doing drawings and sketches, and next thing I know, I was in a meeting, and we put them all up front, and they all went, yeah, good. And Don Hahn said, you just got your Simba approved. And I'm like, I did? It was just that fast. It was, it was crazy. So it, it could be that fast. I mean, I remember on Princess and the Frog, we took what they, we called an offsite. We went up to Ojai. And we spent a whole weekend, and that's all we did was just character design. And we all, like, as a group, took turns. All right, today we're going to do Tiana. And everybody drew Tiana and had their two cents in. So it wasn't just me. And then we'd sit back at the end of the day and go, oh, this is good. I don't like this. I like this. We did that for all the major characters in the film. And so we spent a whole weekend doing that. And then, but that was, I did a press tour uh, after the movie and I remember I was in Minneapolis and they said well when did all this take place and I said well we started designing the characters when Brett Favre was still a Green Bay Packer <laughs> and now he was you know so it was like a year later and he was now I think a Minnesota Viking so <laughs> you know and I, I they, uh, the people in Minnesota thought that was funny. Uh, at this point in my career it's it's challenging just because I'm you know I don't know, the tunnel at the end, the light at the end of the tunnel might be getting a little closer, I don't know. <laughs> and so I just wanna make sure that I'm able to uh, be a help and a, and a support to 
this next generation because at some point they're going to be doing the same thing mm -hmm. at some point and maybe somebody will remember something I said and that'll continue on because I'm taking what I learned from Walt's original animators that they taught me and now I'm passing it on and I find that very gratifying um, it's 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 very gratifying so I'm not even though I'm not animating as much um, I you know we just saw the film at the rap party and it's so amazing you sit there and you go I remember every single scene that came through coming through dailies what the process was you know who had who animated it you know was it easy was it hard how many times they had to redo it I mean it's just your mind just gets you know filled with all kinds of memories when you see these films having worked on them mm -hmm. and um, but knowing that I maybe contributed an idea or helped an animator with an idea or a thought made the scene better that's that's my satisfaction right now and so I'm being needed I guess <laughs> <laughs> do you ever when you make <clears throat> creating the princesses use a muse and if you need one <laughs> this is Beyonce. Yeah, well, this is Beyonce. actually, uh, I, I mean, I, I guess I don't know that I've ever had a muse per se, but I have. I mean, why not start now? Why not start now? <laughs> yeah. um, you could get a character. But I'll tell you what did happen, and maybe you've heard this story, maybe you haven't, but um, I had animated Ariel, I had animated Belle. And then I was given Jasmine. Mm -hmm. So I had three girls, kind of boom, boom, boom. And I hit a bit of an artistic block on Jasmine. It was just like, oh, I can't, you know, mostly, not necessarily who she was, but just the design was a bit of a hassle. I was just like, ah. it's like, I gotta find Jasmine. And I, so, and at one point I was at the Florida studio um, animating and I, literally remembered in my hip pocket, and I still have it in my wallet, uh, my sister's graduation photo, my younger sister Beth. And I got thinking, okay, Jasmine's about, you know, 18, 19 years old. She's got kind of dark hair in my mind and this kind of look and shape. And I was like, I pulled out my sister's picture and I looked at it and went, yeah, that could work. <laughs> so I made a copy of it, blew it up, and stuck it on my desk, and that was just kind of, that kind of got me over this artistic hurdle, this block, to kind of get through to discover Jasmine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so Jasmine is largely based on, physically, and that based on my, my younger sister, Beth. And then she did a cool thing after the movie. It just came out. She's a terrific seamstress. She... So, so she made her own Jasmine costume, oh, awesome. hair and wig yeah. and everything, wow. and sent it to me. And she's all sprawled out on some, <laughs> on some pillows. She threw down in the living room, and it's like, you know, it's like, yeah, that's that's Jasmine. <laughs>